Hey guys, what up? This is Nico, and today I want to talk about the Black Ops 2 trailer, and uh, more specifically, the very end of the trailer. In the end of the trailer, what you see is somebody commentating over uh, a person that is playing in a ranked playlist. And if you've watched Xjaws videos, he actually uh, has gotten a chance to talk to the developers of Treyarch, and they have confirmed that there will be ranked playlists. Now, this is going to be pretty cool for people like me who really enjoy competitive gaming and have always been a part of competitive gaming. But one problem I see is they still have to appeal to both the competitive community and the casual community, which leads me to believe that they're going to have this separation, and there's a good chance you're going to have to pay for it. If you look at Elite, they kind of pushed that a bit, where you had uh, this team-based thing and you could unlock things first. So it wasn't that that competitive and that uh, structured, but I think they're going to do something similar to Elite, make you pay, and you're going to have this uh, this, this ranked system. But you're gonna again. You're gonna have to pay for it, which is gonna be really stupid. If you look at uh, Halo, you don't have to pay to get both casual and and ranked gameplay. So you don't have to pay to get competitive and casual. You have uh, you had ranked game types and you had uh, social game types. And I don't know why Call of Duty has never been able to to integrate that. I think it's because the idea of Call of Duty is you get a bunch of random people and you throw them into a game. It's never been that structured. Not counting things like like game battles or stuff that does have structure, but if you just look at a regular a, a regular TDN game or even a search and destroy game, it's still random people getting thrown in. Even if you run, you know, threes or fours, you don't always get another team of three or four. In Halo, if you ran four people, there's a good chance you're going to get four people. So, Call of Duty's really just been about colliding everybody into uh, one game type and just having everybody more like a free-for-all. It's never been this team-based game, and they tried to bring it into the circuit, the pro circuit, except if you watched the pro circuit from Black Ops, this is what it was. You'd go into an S&D game, every single person would camp in a corner with their FAMAS aimed down, and they would just wait. There really wasn't a strategy behind it. Call of Duty is very hard to integrate strategy, because although there are choke points and stuff, it's very, very, very easy to just sit there, aim down your sight, and wait. And Halo didn't really have that because even if you did camp, it wasn't a one-shot kill. It wasn't about who saw the other first, who saw the other person first, which is what Call of Duty is more about. It's really about who has that that better connection, who has that little bit of a one-up when it comes to getting that first shot off. Uh, in Halo, even if you didn't get that first shot, you could out BR him if you striped it correctly. In Call of Duty, seldom do you find times where you're the one getting shot first and you kill them. And I'm not talking about going against somebody's guest and uh, he sh shoots you once but then he can't figure out how to aim so he's like shooting at the ground and you you know you turn around and kill him no I'm talking about two good people going against each other the person that fires first is usually going to win they're gonna be outliers but most of the time that holds true and they're trying to to bring that that ranked system to to uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and I don't think it's gonna work especially if you're gonna have to pay for it I don't think people are going to to enjoy ranked enough that they want to they want to pay for it because even when Elite came out, I didn't want to pay for it. I understood that you know you'd get these maps and they, didn't they try every month or something of that nature? But I didn't want to pay sixty bucks or whatever because it was just a nuisance. It's like, come on, I just bought the game. You're just making me buy the game again for for what? For a couple of titles and emblems and uh, getting maps early. I think that's about it. So. If they have this rank system for free, I think that might be a bit interesting, but I still think there's going to be that, that problem where you can never really get that, that skill set locked in. It's going to be very hard for their the way that their algorithms work in uh, matching people to match people with equal skill. And that's what I think Halo had uh, going for it. Uh, Halo 3 and Halo 2, not Halo Reach, that sucks. But uh, you'd be able to go into a game with a certain skill level and people would be just right around that skill level. So you were going against people who you were just about as good as. Call of Duty has never been about that. It's been about throwing people in and I could go in and I have a, a 4.0 KD and I can go in against a person that barely has a 1.0. What am I going to do? Of course I'm going to wreck that person. So if they have an idea, if they have a way to, to balance it and to make it so that uh, people have an equal opportunity to go against people of their equal skill set, that's where I think it's going to come in handy and if it's free. That's the biggest thing. I'm going to keep looking at the trailer and um, and looking at things that I found found interesting and such, but uh, yeah, for right now, I'm going to go. My name is Nico, and I'll see you later.